Flight 418 was arriving to O'Hare International Airport. Who has been to an airport? Me. Yep. Have you been on a plane? Was it a big plane? Little plane. How big? Well, it was, it was really big. How humongous? It was really humongous. Well, anyways, in this plane, the pilot and the control tower operator, wait, who knows what a control tower operator is? Oh, I know, I know. It's an operator that controls the tower, right? Right? Um, anybody else? Wait, I got this, Poppy. A control tower operator is a person who works in an airport and whose job is to monitor the planes in the air by looking at its radar and talking to, with each pilot so to keep them from crashing and getting them home safely. That's what I was going to say. Well... So the pilot talks to the control tower operator throughout the flight, and he trusts him because his job is to keep them cr from crashing and bring them home safely. Did you catch that? Yeah, see, that's right. So as the plane was getting closer and closer. This is flight 418, preparing for landing. Are we clear to land? Clear to yep. land. Yep, yep, yep. You gotta tell them where they land. Okay, land on the concrete drive over there. You gotta be more specific, Jordy, like this. Please continue towards runway 34. Decrease your speed and deploy your landing gear. I was just gonna say that. Well, as the plane was just 200 feet from the runway, the control tower operator said, Aboard, aboard, pull up. Pull up! Without any hesitation. Wait, do you boys and girls know what hesitation is? Well, see, hesitation is when you take your time to come to your parents when they call you. I never see, do that. Yeah, right. Come on, boys, stay focused. Well, without any hesitation, the pilot pulled up and continued to fly it away from the airport. Do you know why? The control tower operator told the pilot to pull I up. I know, I know. Of course you know we practiced this story. Stay focused, boys. We're almost done. Okay. The control power operator told the pilot that this because the landing gear had not deployed. This means that... I got this. Huh? The wheels had not come out of the plane... And it was going to land on its belly and likely scraping the, uh, it would scrape the runway while creating sparks and eventually catch the plane on fire and putting everyone's life at risk of serious bodily injury. Or death. Dude, remember, this is a children's story. Oh, uh, okay. The wheels had not come out of the plane and it was going to land on its belly, likely scraping, scraping on the runway while creating spikes, or sparks and eventually catching the plane on fire and putting everyone's life at risk of serious boo-boos. That's a wreath. Nope, nightmares for me tonight. You see, kids, the control tower operator could see things the pilot could not. He had his eyes on the plane during the whole trip, from the beginning to the end. The plane would be safe and everyone in it as long as the pilot trusted and listen to the control tower operator. Who is your control tower operator? Jesus. Huh? Let them answer. Jesus. Jordy. Dios. Jordy. Dude, he's just trying to practice Spanish. Well, Jesus is the control tower operator of your life. If you listen to him starting now, and when you're young, like now, and continue when you're not so young, then you will reach your destination safely. Who can tell me what the destination is? Heaven! El cielo! That's heaven in Spanish. Go, boys. Have a great Sabbath.